The Enola Gay is a Boeing B-29 Super Fortress bomber, named for Enola Gay Tibbets, the mother of the pilot, Colonel Paul Tibbets, who selected the aircraft while it was still on the assembly line. On August 6, 1945, during the final stages of World War II, it became the first aircraft to drop an atomic bomb. The bomb, codenamed Little Boy, was targeted at the city of Hiroshima, Japan, and caused unprecedented destruction. Inoage participated in the second atomic attack as the weather reconnaissance aircraft for the primary target of Kakura. Clouds and drifting smoke resulted in a secondary target, Nagasaki, being bombed instead. After the war, the Inoage returned to the United States, where it was operated from Roswell Army Air Field, New Mexico. In May 1946, it was blown to Kwajalein for the Operation Crossroads nuclear tests in the Pacific but was not chosen to make the test drop at Bikini at all. Later that year it was transferred to the Smithsonian Institution, and spent many years parked at their bases exposed to the weather and souvenir hunters, before being disassembled and transported to the Smithsonian Storage Facility at Suitland, Maryland, in 1961. In the 1980s, veterans groups engaged in a call for the Smithsonian to put the aircraft on display, leading to an acrimonious debate about exhibiting the aircraft without a proper historical context. The cockpit and nose section of the aircraft were exhibited at the National Air and Space Museum in downtown Washington, D.C., for the bombing's 50th anniversary in 1995, amid controversy. Since 2003, the entire restored B-29 has been on display at NASM's Stephen F. Verhazy Center. The last survivor of its crew, Theodore Vankirk, died on July 28, 2014, at the age of 93.